Hi, this is Peldi from Balsamic. Today I'm going to wireframe an iteration on an existing feature of Balsamic mockups called the UI library. Let's get started. All right, so here we are in Balsamic Mockups 3 for desktop. Let's start a new project. I call this UI library iteration. And let's start with a spec. Okay, so I already wrote down what I want to do. I got to this by looking at our forums and our bug tracker and feature request tracker. And uh, there's a few things that people want to do to the UI library. The UI library is this part of the application that shows you all the things that you can add to your um, application, to your wireframes. And uh, so what, they, what people ask for is a favorites tab, like here maybe. Uh, they want a way to organize symbols better because uh, sometimes they're not easy to track. So let's, let's for instance, create a symbol library. We'll call this, I don't know, Android controls. Then we can create another one and we'll call it, I don't know, Google Classroom. And here we'll call them Google One. Google symbol two. I'm just creating some so that we know what we're talking about. So uh, material design button and uh, I don't know. Google. Oh no, where are we here? Android one. Something like that. And these show up here, as you can see, but they're all together. There's no way to uh, see where they're coming from. So that's part of the problem. Same for the icons. There's just so many. There's no really no way to filter them. It's just a lot of icons. Um, there we are. Um, then another problem that people have is that um, if you have some assets, grab some uh, flash grab some from the web I don't know foo sure fine uh, let me get another one bar so what happens is that now in the UI library you see them here sometimes you see them um, in the middle and maybe you have a lot of assets and they kind of get confused. So one idea was to remove them from the all tab, just like the icons are not in the all tab already, and, uh, and only show them in the assets uh, view. And then uh, one other feature people want is in to integrate mockups to go into the product itself. Um, so that you can download community created uh, symbols quickly. So I'm thinking we could add a button here that says get more controls that opens uh, mockups to go. So the first thing I think I'll do is to wireframe the current implementation. Whoop. So that I can um, Start with that. I'm going to use a link bar instead of buttons because I think it's easier. Okay, it doesn't have to be super um, polished. It's just a wireframe after all. So right now we have these two rectangles. There we go. And we have something here that says all assets. I'm gonna write them all because because that gives me a, a closer idea of how much room they need, etc. And 
and then we'll say that the all is select. All right, so more or less, this is what we have today. All right, so let me see, let me see. duplicate. Let's maybe we could do something like this, where we push this down a little bit, we make it a little bit bigger. And then we could have something like favorites. Build, build in controls. Um, whoops. Um, assets, icons, and symbols. Right? Favorites, symbols, icons, assets, and the button. So we could do something like this, where here would be built in controls. So then, let's see. So this would, this would be, let me group it, create it. Let's look at them one by one. Building controls, favorites. How many do we need? Five. Whoa. Press the wrong key. All right, so let's look at the uh, favorites, for instance. So here, it wouldn't show anything here. Or I guess it could continue to show these. You could filter your favorites. Hmm. Well, say you only have favorites in a few, in a few, so it wouldn't be assets. Uh, yeah, no, it should. In a few categories. Then you only see the ones that you have. So this way you can still filter through your favorites, but like, likely you'll just keep it on all and, uh, and see things. Now, how would you get to a favorite? I expect it will be something like this, where you can right click on something and it says, So you right click on that and then here you would see it as well, but it will be checked. Right now, what do we do when you right click? Nothing. Maybe on symbols we do something. Edit symbol source, that's fine. Okay, we could add that. Okay, so that could be the favorites one. Then the assets. The assets, we could filter them with all. Well, we only show images here. So I think maybe here there is no filter. No second line. For icons though, this could be easy. This could be what we do for here. Accessibility brand chart currency. Let me try that. All. I'm gonna take a screenshot. Again, I'm going to copy the exact values so that I know if it fits. Give me a second.
Oh, and here we could do something like, I don't know, orange. Is another what's it called? Orange, yeah. Okay, let me see. Okay, this we can delete, this we can do. Well, what's happening here? Why did the orange thing didn't work? Uh, orange. There we go. It's a little light. It's a little light of the color. Let me pick another one. Orange four. This is something that people have. That is a problem right now. That. You cannot add an image as an icon right now from the UI library. You have to add it as an image and then transform it into an icon, which is not great. But this would give you a way to do that. Now, I don't know if, if this is the right way. Maybe it may be bold instead of. And I wonder if we should have it at the beginning instead of at the end. I don't know. I don't know. That looks pretty good to me though. So that's a way to organize the icons better. And then we have symbols. And so here in our case, we would have Android and then Google Classroom and then all of course. Yeah, that, that looks nice. So this will be the name of the symbol library and then you only see those or you can do all. So this looks pretty good to me. One thing that we didn't, I didn't add is the button to download. Come on, download more controls. And this one actually, I want it to be an icon. Oops. What did I do? What did I do? I pressed the wrong keyboard shortcut. Ungroup. Transform. Uh, text. Form. Ah, forget it. Icon and label. Download more controls. So, boop, 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 download from the cloud. And this would open a dialog, so it has dot, dot, dot. Ungroup these guys. Okay, so this design seems okay to me. There's a couple of things that is, are a little weird. This one that doesn't have a second line. What we could do in this case is we could make more room for, for the assets. So you see them a little bigger. Let me put that in. So that it's clear, not bad. And then um, I think it's pretty scalable. We could even add a recent here. Let me move the favorite stuff above. 
so that they're in order. So that they're all in order. Okay. And what's wrong with my fingers today? I keep pressing the wrong button. All right, favorites, built-in assets, icons, and symbols. That looks good. It it takes two rows instead of one, which you know get, it's another 20, 25 pixels that are, gets stolen from the wireframe itself. But I feel like it's worth it. And also, putting it all in one line will be pretty tough. There's not much space, especially for the icons. Then you'd have to go and, and add a, add a uh, overflow and use it, which is a pain. Uh, all right, see, so I think I'll, uh, I'll propose this and uh, we can cut it up and uh, see what it looks like. All right, bye.